Hi there everyone, it's Joe. welcome back to my channel and today I'm going with a little bit of a different vibe today as you can see I've changed like, the backdrop so it's by my window so it's a little bit more light and airy and lovely and today I'm also going to be showing you how I painted a Terra from Opus 1, this is the 3 drop Terra into a brand new art piece. Now I've done this numerous times, for those of you who don't know I actually started my channel this way by painting you know, various Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now I don't really play Yu-Gi-Oh and I never really have been that into it but now that I have a game that I'm really into, I really want to kind of show you guys how I've kind of made the process from going from one art style to another. And it's not just card ext art extension this time, and this time I'm changing the art entirely. So how do I go about doing that? Well, the materials that I use, I'm going to quickly show you. These are the paints that I use. They are golden fluid acrylics. Don't giggle at the name, because I do. And, you know, I use very, very fine brushes where possible. So, you know, some people use Games Workshop brushes. They're really, really good. The ones that are usually used for painting models. They work really, really well, because they're really good for fine detail. But the first thing you want to do is you want to cover up the background from the, uh, from the original picture. So you want to try and colour match it as close as you can. Now, with this being an ice card, you kind of want to make sure that you've got that, you know, colour scheme right, but with FF cards obviously they kind of have the little legs sticking out the bottom, so you kind of have to just deal with that. But the nice thing about Final Fantasy cards is that they can, you know, similarly to Magic cards, they can either all be foil or all be non-foil. Now this kind of painting scheme only really works with non-foil cards. So once you've got the, the background all covered up, then you kind of want to get just a toothpick or something. You can use tape to kind of like refine the edges or anything like that, but I've decided that I kind of want to go back after I've done that and I use a toothpick to clean out all my edges because I just find it easier and it's a bit more natural to me. But once that's done, I found this beautiful picture of Terra that I wanted to emulate onto a card and so I used uh, tracing paper to grab basically just the basic structure of the card so that I kind of knew what I was doing. But I don't want to leave heavy pencil marks on the card because obviously I, want, I don't want there to be easy pencil marks to leave. So if you want to try and do something like that, it'll at least give you a guideline as to how to do it. Now, after you've done that, it's literally a case of doing whatever you want to do. So after I found this picture, I really love kind of that 90s anime feel. Like if you think of things like Sailor Moon or Tenchi Muyo or things like that, I used to watch those shows when I was like 10 and I'm not the biggest anime nut in the world, but I really, really enjoyed watching those when I was little. And then I kind of just transferred that kind of aesthetic onto this. So I used different colours, like a rainbow scheme, you know, it was similar to the colour scheme that I used, that were very, you know, pretty much the same colour scheme that I saw on the picture that inspired it. So I wanted to make sure that that was brought across, because I think the original artist did a really, really good job of it. But I like altering cards, like whether they're tournament legal or not is entirely up for debate. I mean, Final Fantasy TCG is a very new game. Magic allows, you know, card alters in certain tournaments, Yu-Gi-Oh never did, so whether this one does or not is, you know, it's up for debate. But one of the things that I really like doing is because it allows me to kind of get my mark on these games in a way that's unique from everybody else. It's something that I've always really enjoyed doing. So that's kind of my reason for starting doing it. I mean, loads of people sit there and say to me, oh, Joe, you should sell these. Oh, Joe, you could make money off this. And it's like, I don't, I'm not in it to make money. I mean, yeah, cool, it would be nice. But A, how many people are gonna want something like this? And B, you know, if they're not tournament legal, certainly, and B, how much would you even charge for something like this? You know, it's one of those things where it's like, I haven't got a clue, I've never known how to do, how to kind of evaluate something like this, so I don't bother. However, what I have decided to do is I've decided to make this a cornerstone of my Patreon. Now, I've already got people who are supporting me on there, and I've been very, very fortunate, and I li will leave all of the names of my, you know, my biggest supporters at the end of every video because it's, you know, the way that these things go and it's something that I really want to push and I want to make my own little community and I'm really enjoying that. Like, we have a Discord chat that we are actually very active and we discuss loads of different things like Brave Exvius, Opera Omnia, the card game, obviously, all things like that. And obviously, and with the paintings that I do, um, I wanted to make it so that people could vote on things that they wanted to see on a card, so whether it be a completely different character or just different artwork for the stuff that you see, like this Terra, like this Terra wasn't voted on, however, the higher tier stuff, you know, you can actually win some of these cards once a month as well. I'm not going to like completely overrun my channel with stuff like this, I'm probably going to only do it once or twice a month, but people can win those cards and they can vote on them as well. So if you're interested in joining in on that, then I'll leave a link to my Patreon account in the description box below and hopefully you guys will enjoy it all the same. But Terror in particular, I really wanted to kind of get across a real sense of wonderment because I think that's very good with the character. And one of the reasons I really like the colour scheme that's sort of that I've, I've used here is because it kind of encompasses all the elements of the different versions of Terror that we see. So, so with the pinks and purples, you've got Trans Terror, 
With the yellows, you've got the blonde of the Terra from Dissidia, and with the greens, you've got obviously original Terra. But I also wanted to kind of make sure that it was all kind of all encompassed into one thing, and I thought it was really pretty. So, anyways, I will leave you with the rest of the video, and obviously I will say my thank yous at the end, and very much all of that stuff, so, you know, stay tuned for more content to do with Final Fantasy TCG, and if you like what you see here, then do subscribe to the channel, because I'm really enjoying what I'm doing, and I've also been streaming a lot recently, so if you wanted to, you know, come and check out my Twitch channel, then I'll leave a link to that in the description box as well. And with that, I will say my goodbyes, so thanks again, and I'll see you all soon.